so CNBC um, is really outraged over Biden's proposed billionaire tax. Now, mind you, the thing's already dead. Manchin already was like, I'm not going to do it. So yet again, we're given something that in theory is pretty good and then gets crushed and, you know, killed in the cradle instantly. But uh, that doesn't stop CNBC from doing their propaganda and, and saying, pity the poor mega rich. Uh, so here they are running cover for billionaires, but specifically a guy by the name of Leon Cooperman, who very famously cried over high taxes. So let's take a look at what they're saying now. Billionaire Leon Cooperman calling President Biden's proposed tax on billionaires his words, stupid and probably illegal. Now, Senator Elizabeth Warren uh, responding in a tweet yesterday, writing in her words, Leon, before the tears start streaming down your face again, uh, let's remember our billionaires often pay less taxes than teachers, nurses, and firefighters. Uh, a billionaire's income tax would start to level the playing field so everyone gets a fighting chance. Join us now to discuss the billionaire tax and how Americans uh, feel about the proposal is pollster and political strategist Frank Lunds. Um, Lee, Lee Cooperman has signed the giving pledge, so he's giving everything away. Do you think that when a, a bureaucrat, um, and I think about her, some of her comments about, about Elon Musk, who paid $11 billion in taxes last year, I don't know how many, I don't know how long you'd have to tally up every um, politician's yearly tax bill before they get to $11 billion. But does this play in Peoria? People that resentful of, of billionaires so that something like that still plays, Frank? What did your polls say? It's not a matter of... It's an issue of what people prioritize. And they prioritize cutting waste for Washington spending. They prioritize lowering inflation. They prioritize ending American dependence. And I'm not ducking the question, I'm reframing it, because the public is very clear about this. The tax policy is less important to people today than it has been in any time since I've been doing polling. And in fact, they see and they seek different answers than simply raising taxes. Now, make no mistake, billionaires are not as respected now as they were 10 years ago. They're not as appreciated now, I should say the wealthy. I don't want to use your language, I want to use the language of the American public. But that being said, they, if, they, if taxes have to go up, it should go up on business. But that is not the issue to the public. How do you lower my day-to-day -day costs? And raising taxes, even if it's just on the wealthy, the average American thinks eventually it will filter down to them. That's what we call obfuscating. That's what we call running cover for billionaires and running cover for Leon Cooperman. What they're doing there, make no mistake about it, is rank propaganda. How do I know that? Well, I happen to know the polling. I happen to know the polling on this exact issue, raising taxes on the wealthy. So there's a Pew Research poll. This one goes back to 2017, but polls since then have also verified this exact same theme. Don't take my word for it. You can go look for yourself. I'm going to give you this and give you a newer poll on it. Uh, do you agree with this sentiment? Some corporations don't pay their fair share. 62% say I agree with that a lot. A lot. Some wealthy people don't pay their fair share. 60% agree with that a lot. Another 18% say they kind of agree with that. Um, then when they ask the question, do poor people, do some poor people not pay their fair share? Only 20% agree with that a lot. Only 20% say poor people don't pay their fair share. Um, by the way, the Republican plan, as put forward by Rick Scott, is raise taxes on the bottom 50% of wage earners in the country. That's their plan. That's their plan. Uh, there was a Build Back Better poll. There were a bunch of higher taxes on the wealthy that were in the original Build Back Better proposal. Uh, this was polled by Data for Progress. Let me give you the answers here. Uh, what percentage supports increasing capital gains taxes on the wealthy? That's the what you tax for money that they make through investments in the stock market. 72% say raise capital gains taxes on the wealthy. How about limiting deductions for wealthy business owners? 71% support that. Raising the income tax on the wealthy is 2%. 71% support that. Uh, and then increasing taxes on large corporations, 65% support that. Even to this direct question of a wealth tax, of a billionaire's tax, uh, the polls that I've seen on that indicate the support is even higher than what I'm telling you here. It's even higher than, than these specific taxes on the wealthy. So this is a this is an issue. 
that is overwhelming. And it's not just Democrats, it's not just independents, even a majority of many Republicans support raising some of these taxes. So what they're doing is obfuscating, they're lying, they're doing propaganda to protect billionaires. Now just to remind you who they're protecting here, because this is the guy that called a billionaire tax stupid. They're um, protecting Leon Cooperman, who had this very famous moment in a feud with Elizabeth Warren when she wanted to do a wealth tax on billionaires. Here was his reaction. And we need a unifier in that position and because the country is being torn apart. So let him make his own decision. Uh, I am not in favor of all this impeachment inquiry. Uh, I want the American people to decide in November of 2020 what the future should be. I think, um, I mean, I think it's kind of obvious people can not only see the um, emotion on your face, but hear it in your voice when you talk about this, Lee. Why? I care. That's it. <laughs> I'm a billionaire. What if I become poor because of a 2% wealth tax? <laughs> now look, to be fair, I did, I went back and watched the entire clip because it struck me like they were talking about Trump there when he mentioned impeachment and he mentioned, and I think he should step down because we need a unifier in the country. So it's not exactly clear he was crying about the idea of raising taxes on the rich, but and you can see in the, the, the Chiron there, uh, they, one of his points that he always goes back to because him and Elizabeth Warren were feuding and he wrote a letter and she responded and all this stuff, uh, he thinks the vilification of wealthy people is tearing the country apart. And he's made that point time and time and time again. Um, so, I don't know, you go back and watch the full clip yourself, it strikes me like maybe he's crying about an amalgamation of issues, but he did bring up impeachment and stuff and, and Trump stepping down before the tears came. But, um, I don't know, I'll leave it up to you to determine if he's actually crying over higher taxes or if he's crying over quote-unquote, the country being torn apart. But again, the thing that he always goes back to about, hey, the country's being torn apart, is because he thinks rich people are being vilified. So, I don't know, I'll leave it up to you. Either way, this is goofy as hell. <laughs> and um, this is a guy who's on the record calling a wealth tax stupid, calling a billionaire tax stupid. To be fair to him, he does support other kinds of uh, higher taxes. Like, I think he's fine with the top marginal income tax increase. He says he supports a progressive tax system. Uh, but... Nonetheless, look, they were doing propaganda for billionaires on CNBC in that first clip. Uh, they, they're just obfuscating and deflecting and not being honest about what the polls show when it comes to raising tax on the wealthy. Yes, it very well might be true that on the list of things Americans prioritize, like, hey, what should be done first? What should be done second? I'm sure that taxing the wealthy comes in, uh, you know, down the line a little bit. Maybe it's the 10th thing or the 14th thing or whatever that people want to get to. But a lot of the things at the top of that list like getting people health care, can be funded with the raising taxes on the wealthy. And again, the numbers are very clear on that, that it is a super popular issue. It's a bipartisan issue among the public. And of course, you have Republican politicians and many Democratic politicians blocking any movement in the right direction on that. And again, the media running cover for the wealthy, which is the entire point of CNBC. That's what they do. Now, by the way, I want to reiterate yet again, um... I don't know why, but recently CNBC has been copywriting all of their clips. So, and, and what that means is some people, when they copyright, they'll just pull down the entire video and not allow anybody to see it. But oftentimes when outlets copyright, they'll let you keep the video up, but they just steal your revenue from that video. Uh, and this has been happening more and more often. I don't know if CNBC does this with all of their clips now, or if it was just a fluke the last time it happened when I covered a Biden speech and they jacked the revenue. But if you support the show, please donate a couple bucks per month on Patreon. The link is in the video description box. Because again, I don't trust YouTube. And they pulled the rug out from underneath us previously with Adpocalypse. You all remember that. And uh, now we're seeing an uptick in uh, copyright pirates. And so the best way to support this show is to just donate on Patreon a couple bucks a month. By the way, thank you to everybody who already does that. You mean the world and, you know, the show couldn't function without you guys. And so thank you to, to everybody who already does it. And if you haven't done it, please consider it. I'd really appreciate it. But there you go. 
CNBC doing rank propaganda on behalf of billionaires. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.